Nothing says loving like something from the oven, and we, we're going to enjoy it later. But right <laughs> now, how to be positive. Uh, and we always have Andrea Gigline. When we want to find out how to be positive, how to change our lives, we go to Andrea. Andrea, good morning. Hello and there. Uh, of course, we you, you've heard us talking the five A's of success. We all need that, don't we? Five A's uh, it is a free download book that you can get on my blog today, along with there are two blogs that I put up between yesterday and today, and this is the two things that I want to share with you because they are both free mm -hmm. and they both will help you just even if you don't get the opportunity to smell the wonderful chicken whips that are sitting in this studio right now. <laughs> that makes you positive. You do, you do. Let me tell you. It makes if you that very, doesn't make you happy, nothing more. Yes, it makes you very happy. You can get some good resources for no money and your effort. Mm. And so those are the coolest things. So one of them is a beautiful new website that I found, happier.com. Mm -hmm. And the other is achieving uh, the five A's of achieving successful relations all the time, relationships Ooh. Relationships. All the time. Okay, but now not necessarily just a man-woman relationship. Mm -hmm. We're talking across the board relationships. Across the board. In fact, the reason, uh, the, mm -hmm. the very opening page of this, the, I came up with this title because on websites like Facebook, there's a little thing that says, you know, what is your relationship status? Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, isn't that the weirdest thing? You know, your relationship status has got to be, yeah. how do I feel about me? And everyone is getting to see right now the website happier.com. Mm -hmm. And I will stress that everyone mm -hmm. go to that website. W what's on there, though, Andrea? Oh, is the it, coolest it, things. Okay. Number one, you can go and take all these free tests to find out how happy am I right now this moment. I, know, I, I logged on the other day. It is extensive. It is extensive and it just got upgraded yesterday. Mm. They've added a bunch of new things. The other thing that I love about this site, um, and we'll speak about the relationships, why this speaks, the very first relationship that you must have positive in order for you to ever attract any other positive relationships is the one with yourself. So sites like happier.com give you the resources to first and foremost look at yourself and say, how am I doing? Mm -hmm. And then you can start figuring out how am I going to attract, whether it's in business or love or anywhere. So how does that do that? Does it go through a, a, a series well, of obviously personal questions? It doesn't do anything. Okay. What it does is give you resources. And they are so kind on this site to give you two of the greatest resources. One, the little surveys, like you mm -hmm. saw. Mm -hmm. Some of them are really quick. Mm -hmm. And it's just making you stop and say, how do I feel today? And is, does my mood, because it's one of those flags that mm -hmm. say, is my mood in need of a little up, uplift? Mm -hmm. And that's what the site offers. It offers those quick and dirty ability for you to stop that, in your Does day. it grade you? Well, it gives you an answer. It's subject. Okay. A lot of the tests are subjective. subjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's giving you an answer, you know, how opti the optimism test. That is really a subjective test of you at this moment in time, how am I doing? Why is that important? Well, it's important because at the moment you stop to ask the question, you're actually opening up the window to being willing to see, is there something I need to mm. do to actually, you've actually just taken the test, you've taken an action. Because in reality, moods or temperament or happy or unhappy, whichever word, right. moods are infectious. Moods are uh -huh. infectious and they can be highly affected by actions that you take. It is so easy. Cognitive therapies told us that if we just stopped, I don't know if you ever saw that people used to wear rubber bands on their mm -hmm. wrist and, mm -hmm. you know, to stop the sure. thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what going to a site like happier.com is. It's that little mm -hmm. rubber band pinch to say, okay, I need to check this out. Now, once you get there, you can then choose to do some exercises. Now, the exercises you need to be a subscriber to get access because they actually keep coaching you. But the other thing that this site does that I really, really respect, there's two things. One, every day, whether you are a subscriber or not, you can get a daily reminder once you've registered. And it's just a, two or three sentences saying, remember to go back to the site because it is that daily building the mm -hmm. habit of checking our moods that means so much. And it, they don't send a lot of flash and pictures and yeah. nonsense like so many emails. And I am definitely 
you know, victim to that in my, my own correspondence, I will admit. But what it does do is allow you to stop and say, oh, let me just run over to the site and do mm-hmm. something and, and just to, it stops you and starts so it's, again. It's a constant diet, like, like most things. It's a constant yes. diet. Uh, you're not going to just do this one time and suddenly be happy. And therein lies, Lou, you have said it. If we could get everyone, every one of us, at every moment to take responsibility for how are we thinking in our lives and how are we being, that then begins to address every relationship. But it is, and it's like Tanya said earlier, it, it's the people that surround you. Correct. Again, you're saying, I have to take responsibility, but many times the people that you surround yourself with have a way of rubbing off on you and you need to get out of it. Therein this. lies the infectiousness yeah. of moods and mm-hmm. happy. Okay. But, you, but you know what you, you said earlier, some people are they're not necessarily depressed at all, no. but maybe they're not happy. But isn't Correct. happy a relative term as mm. to how we all identify right. that? And that's and you know sites yeah. like Happier.com respect that, and that's why these tests. So many of the tests are subjective. There is my famous VIA to strengths mm-hmm. survey, which is on this, mm-hmm. and I, I I do want to direct everyone there to do that. Mm-hmm. That is not you're big on that. Yes, yeah. it, it, it you knowing your own strengths. How can I plan my day to use my strengths more? Andy, if I don't I guess I'd ask are. you the question too, can I talk myself into being happy? You can talk yourself into being happy as equally as or as much as you talk yourself into being unhappy. We have a tendency of those not catching our negative thoughts. And one of the examples I use, I assumed you drove today to the studio. Yes. Okay. How many times did you look in the rearview mirror as you drove over here? To see who was behind me? Mm-hmm. How many times? A, a lot because I drive a lot okay, that you, way. You couldn't tell me a number, could you? No. Okay. That's negative thinking. Well, that's a representation of negative thinking, and that's why doing things like the happy. Oh, I see where you're you going with that. I, mean? I see exactly what you're saying. And doing things like what's yeah. in my free, all yeah. the little tests that I have yeah. in the yeah. free workbook. Interesting. That's, that does it. It's that quick. Interesting. And so, yes, we can make ourselves happier. We just have to do something about it. Yeah. When we come back, Andrea Gigline, the five A's of, of achieving successful relationships always. Great. 